Hello everybody, it is January yeah, January 4th, 2023. Can't believe it. In Big Bear, we have a winter storm warning that has been issued. Um, we could get maybe 10 inches of snow out of everything once it begins tonight, overnight. We should start getting some snow, I would say, at maybe one in the morning. Um, temperatures are gonna be really warm until then, and we have had a lot of snow melt this past day because of rain and uh, just drizzle that we had yesterday. So kind of a bummer, kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I'm hoping this pans out. You guys know that we're not really too uh, hopeful because of the past forecasts. They're, they're just, they're all wrong in terms of the amount of snow that we get, but I'm trying to find some hope. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic and not so pessimistic anymore. Because uh, we, we might as well try to be happy and look forward to it. So right now we're going to actually come down here and turn on to the boulevard of Broken Dreams. Behind us would be Snow Summit, if you guys can see in the mirror there. I'm just, I know you can't really see it too well. But we're going to do this little tour over in Big Bear Lake a little bit. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna shut off the video because I don't wanna, well this guy just went right through the light. Um, maybe I won't shut it off just so you guys can see traffic situation, but the roads are in great, great shape at the moment, you guys. No, no chains are required. Um, I always tell you guys to call 1-800-CALTRANS before making your trek up here. Um, it's the most up-to-date information, but another one of you shared with me that there is an app that you can download as well. So uh, I'm going to look into that. I think that would be great to have the app um, to utilize. But yeah, so we've got a storm coming in. This is the last of this series of storms. And then next week, you guys, in about a week from now, we've got like five days in a row again of more snow and rain. So I'm super, super excited about that. I'm really hoping that this next series of storms brings us many, many, many feet of snow. Um, it's right at the perfect time of year where this place on record has been demolished with snow. So I'm really hoping that that's the case because this uh, series of storms has been pretty lackluster. I'm excited to see what the time lapse looks like because I, I, I'm, I'm still doing the same time lapse from five or six days ago, and I'll be ending that on Friday. So I think that'll be awesome to watch that. It's in 30 second intervals, so it shouldn't be more than like a 10 minute video, maybe a little bit less for six or seven days worth of, of weather recording. So I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna be beautiful. But when we get the big snow, that's when the time lapses look awesome. Um, let's see here. So yeah, once again, at about one in the morning, we should start seeing some snow. And then it should last pretty much through the whole day on Thursday. And Thursday, during the day, we have five to eight inches of snow possible and then Thursday night less than an inch but tonight overnight one to three inches tomorrow five to eight inches and then less than an inch on Thursday night and then we're gonna get I think like three day break or something like that I'm not a hundred percent certain I think I recall it saying three or four days without anything and that's gonna be that's gonna be a nice nice little break and a chance for those of you who are afraid to drive up in wintry conditions. It'll be much, much, much better and much more peaceful for you guys because I do want you to have a safe, good time coming up here. I don't want you guys stressing out about anything. That's no fun. It is kind of exciting to drive in those conditions, um, even if it is scary. It's all part of it. It, it. It's all part of going to the mountains. But I do understand that there's 
legitimate fear driving in these conditions. Not how it is right now. This is this is perfect. This is great. Wow, these these lower level clouds are freaking flying. They are flying into town right now. Right now, look at look at this, guys. 45 degrees. Such a bummer. I'm really looking forward to when we get some of our like 15 degree high temperature days, if that even happens at all. And we're gonna pass the village, by the way. We're gonna pass it because we're not gonna get caught in the traffic coming back like that. And then if we get stuck in traffic on Village Road or Village Drive, I will show you guys the little shortcut driving through Oakside parking lot and going to the street right behind which runs parallel to Village Drive, and usually it saves a ton of time. Even on that small stretch, you can get stuck in some good traffic. And once again, I, I don't want that for you guys. I just want you guys to come up here and enjoy your time. I don't want you stressing on anything. Let me go out here in all this horrible traffic and whatnot. Let me suffer for you guys. But I don't know. Do you guys think that it's actually going to pan out where we get close to a foot of snow from this? Let me know what you think because, uh, as I said, I'm trying to be optimistic because I've been such a pessimist when it comes to this solely because I've been just going off of these these bad forecasts. And it's it's not their fault. I mean, they're they're forecasting exactly what they see. And it's not like uh, they're they're doing it intentionally to screw screw everything up like that. And what I mean by screw everything up is a lot of people, a lot of you guys, do take time off of work and take your kids out of school to come enjoy these decent sized snowstorms. And then when you get here, it's almost a waste because it's not happening. And then you're losing money from not working and losing money from spending a bunch of money up here, and the kids aren't getting educated when they could have stayed in school so yeah there's 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 a lot of little issues that that come with these forecasts being being wrong and as i said i just want the best for you guys i want you guys to have a wonderful time because without you guys coming up here and infusing our environment with money our economy none of us get to live here so i am very grateful for each and every single one of you you know what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you guys the shortcut around the village we're not even going to go into the village we're going to go around the village up in the hills so let's just assume that traffic here is completely jacked up right like just stopped back here let's just assume it and let's assume that there's a lot of traffic going through the village right there i will show you guys the way around and this will take us to that back street behind oakside restaurant behind jack in the box etc Not a lot of people know this route. Not a lot of people know lots of these side routes at all. And so I'm, I'm, I'm really, really honored that I get to show you guys. So here's the Elks Lodge on the left. I just want you guys to, to kind of know where you're at. I think this is called Payne Street or Payne Road. But you want to take this all the way up to the top. And even just up here, there's a lot more snow than there is right, right down there at the bottom. And this is a lot steeper than it looks, you guys. So when there is ice and snow on here, treacherous, scary, nerve-wracking, white-knuckling it. I've seen cars right here sliding backwards. That's got to be a horrifying feeling. And as I said, it's a lot steeper than it looks. They got some monster houses up here too, some beautiful homes. I really wish I had a home like that. Or like this, or just like any of these homes up here. But it takes a lot of hard work and sacrifice, and you know, at, in my 40s now, I am willing to, to sacrifice and do what I have to do and work as hard as I have to work to, to be able to live in a house like this. I think that would be awesome. 
instead of being a victim all the time and whining about why I'm not in a big house and why other people are, it's because they work their butts off. Pretty simple. And this is very steep as well, you guys coming down. So once you get up to the top there, you turn left. And then once you get down to the bottom here, you turn left again. And now you're on that street right behind Oakside. There's Oakside Restaurant right there. And Village Drive is just on the other side of that. So as I said, just imagine that there's bumper to bumper traffic right here like there usually is on Village Drive. And this is how this street typically always looks when there's bumper to bumper traffic there. It's so easy and you bypass about 15 minutes worth of all this traffic stuck next to Jack in the Box. And there's a bunch of traffic there now. Look at that on Village Drive. So now we get to Pine Knot and we turn left. And as I said, this is how you can get through the whole village area without any concerns of traffic. And now here, we're gonna turn right on Village Drive instead of go through the village. As I said, we're just gonna assume that there's traffic, a lot of it. There's a bit, but it's not as bad as, uh, as I anticipated. And then you'll get a lot of people up here at the stop sign who turn left to head down to Big Bear Boulevard, but we're just gonna stay on these back streets. We already did the boulevard coming into town. So I think we're gonna take the back streets again. And once you get to this stop sign uh, where the elementary school is, Big Bear Elementary, um, this is called Knickerbocker Street. Once you cross over, it changes from Village Drive to Pennsylvania Avenue. So you just want to stay on this. take these these side roads try not to go over 25 I know when when we get frustrated out there and we finally see light at the end of the tunnel typically our foot steps on the gas a little bit more <laughs> to, to kind of regain a little bit of time but try not to speed like that person in front of us because there are kids up here and we don't want them jumping out behind one of these little no ski area access signs. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful out here right now. As I said, it's unfortunately in the mid forties right now. The snow is consistently melting, but that's okay. We might have something special coming overnight all day tomorrow. So keep your fingers crossed, folks. There's the football field for, I think, the I think the high school actually plays here, even though the high school is in Sugarloaf. I could be wrong. I usually am. I love the anticipation, always waiting for these storms to come through. The one thing I don't look forward to is the heavy amount of winds that come into play right before the storm arrives. Because I live under a whole bunch of really old, tall trees. 
my neighbor, my neighbor Matt, a few years back when we had a, a, a massive snowstorm, a tree fell onto his house and like, like busted into his bedroom through the roof. Freaked me out because I know that can happen to us. He was okay. Thank goodness he wasn't there, but the dude's the dude is the man. He repaired it himself and everything. He's lived next to me. He's lived there for like 25, 26 years. Maybe a little bit longer. Everyone in my little neighborhood, except for the people at the very front house, when you pull in to my driveway, everyone in my neighborhood has been there a long time. One of my neighbors, she's been there over 20 years. Another one of my neighbors, Catherine, has been there over 15 years. I've been there eight years. It's a good little neighborhood. We were always helping each other out. Okay, so here's Big Bear Boulevard right down there. And there's Carl's Jr. This is a road called Thrush. This is kind of like the exit from Snow Summit Ski Resort. And a bunch of boxers live here in that white house right there. I, th I, I think, uh, what is it, Triple C or like something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the dude's name. Triple C or Triple E or Triple D. <laughs> Triple whatever it is, he would kick my butt. Triple time. In case you guys are wondering, next to the big 7-Eleven with a gas station, we have an urgent care right here. In Summit Plaza. And yeah, this parking lot that we passed earlier on the left-hand side, this is one of the major satellite parking lots for Snow Summit. Um, and then you can either walk, but most people choose to take the tramp. And it is pretty full right now. I've got to be thinking the conditions must be horrible up there right now. I hate to say that because obviously I want everyone to come up here and spend money and have fun. But having fun, the conditions need to be good as far as I'm concerned, especially the older that I am. Falling in like puddles of icy water with snow doesn't seem too much fun to me. Doesn't seem like fun, so. Now we're on Moon Ridge Road when we turn right here. Right here next to Walgreens. And here is one of my favorite hotels in Big Bear, the Best Western, the Big Bear Chateau. Kind of reminds me of the hotel from The Shining. It just has that that feel to it from my experience the overlook hotel and i love it i love it so we're gonna go driving by bear mountain right now through these roundabouts etc etc just so you guys can see in most of the touristy parts of town, what it's looking like. Here's entering the roundabout. All these lights look so pretty during the day, just these wooden poles, but at nighttime it's too bright. It's way too bright. Look at all this melted snow on the street. Oh my goodness gracious. Here's a little satellite parking lot for Bear Mountain. And we're headed on Club View Road. And for a good place to go sledding for free, you guys, just stay on Club View right here, all the way up to the top. 
all the way. And then it looks like they're allowing people to park here where, we, where most people park to go to the driving range. As you can see left here. So I'm wondering if they're charging people to park here. I'm, I'm sure we are, we don't ever not charge people for anything. If we could charge people to breathe up here, we would. And we would overcharge you for that too. It is 2.08 p.m. The temperature has dropped down to 42, de now it's 41 degrees. People are already leaving the mountain. I hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys had a good time. A couple of my friends from childhood randomly are, are, are both coming up at the same time tomorrow and Friday. So I'm excited I get to see them, say what's up. Hoping they don't have any issue getting up here. Hoping none of you have any issue getting. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is so pretty. Makes me want to get up there and go skiing so bad. But if you want to go sledding for free, just stay on this road and go up to the top there on the right. Oh yeah. Bear Mountain, baby, Bear Mountain, my favorite ski resort. And I've skied all over Colorado and Utah. I've even skied Mount Alieska in Alaska. This is my favorite, simply because of the nostalgia that it brings back to me. And just how great life was back then as a child and how peaceful it was and having good relationships with my family, with my siblings for the most part. but you guys are a way better family than they are. My mom and dad are super cool, but everyone else in my family, I could definitely go without. And I have. This is where the old zoo was. They did a great job clearing it out. And here's the golf course on the left-hand side. When we get good snowfall, we'll get a lot of a lot of people out there building snowmen, which which I think is super cool, super freaking cool. Just a just a beautiful place. This really is a gorgeous place to be. wanted to thank you guys again for just the most lovely comments and believing in what I'm doing and it, 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 it catches me off guard because I just I never imagined that this channel would would be what it is today and I haven't changed anything about it I don't cuss as much and that's because of you guys you guys taught me how to be, taught me to become a, a better man and and I don't need to cuss to get my points across you guys have really done a lot for me and I'm very thankful for you. That's some more of the golf course right there. I know our, the superintendent, he's a super cool dude. I know he wouldn't be happy about people going out there and sledding and whatnot because uh, he, he and his team bust their butts to make sure that that golf course is in good good shape when we are able to play golf up here and all the trampling and sledding and cutting up the ground does not bode well but at the same time you know we want you guys to have fun up here and if that's the only place to go build a snowman with your little ones then by all means go do it 
I do think it is private property, but it is the golf course. Well, look at how pretty these clouds look in front of us. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. So we're gonna go through this little neighborhood real quickly on the left. This is uh, where, it's right across the street from my house. They've got some big, beautiful houses that I love to show you guys. Big, beautiful houses. It's a great, great location. That place is a monster. Look at that place, it's huge. But a lot of these are really, 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 really big. And I think most of them are Airbnb. I mean, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. I can't imagine what they charge for these places though. It's gotta be a lot of money. That's why if, if, if you guys get your friends together and you know, pitch in, I think it's a, it's a good thing because you, you guys can end up staying in one of these huge places. For me, it's just so much more fun to be in a snowy area when you're in the lap of luxury. Even the smaller places here are not small. <laughs> and it's right across the street from my house and I live in a tiny little shack, 500 square feet. I mean, look at how cute these places are. They're all really, really adorable. And we are coming up to Summit Boulevard after this, uh, after Crestwood here. So we're just gonna turn right on Crestwood and cut the video. Cut the video, we're done. We are very done here. There's an Airbnb that I stayed at a few times. It's it's a friend of this channel. I believe this is it right here. I believe that's it. A 651 Crestwood. Really nice people. I put my mom up with me there a couple different times. It was super cool. Well, anyway, guys, as I said, we got a winter storm warning in effect. So that's a really good sign, even though our winter storm warnings have not been panning out at all. But that's a good sign. I'll take it. Um, keep your fingers crossed that we do get close to a foot of snow by late Thursday night, which is tomorrow night. And I just wish you guys safety and peace in every day of your lives. I wish you guys health and wealth and just all the good things in life. I want that for all of you. I want everyone everyone to be happy. No, and no matter what happiness is for you, I hope you get it. Thank you guys again for always cruising with me. For always being so cool to me. I can't thank you enough. This is, this is an awesome channel. This channel is special only because of you guys. No joke about that. So thank you guys again for everything. And I will talk to you guys later. As soon as it starts snowing, I will be out there recording. I love you guys very much. Take care. It's January 4th, 2023 in Big Bear, California.